Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Dr. Armin Simonian. Once you've gone down the road of specializing in pharmacy informatics, what kind of career opportunities will you be looking for? What I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about what the possibilities are out there. We've talked about the job market, and I believe that um, the need for pharmacy informaticists is increasing. But let's talk a little bit more specifically about the types of jobs that you might uh, look for as a pharmacy informaticist. I'll bring up my screen and we can start talking about those opportunities. So starting with health system pharmacy, at the entity or corporate level, meaning um, at one hospital or at a multi-hospital and clinic um, health system, you might be a pharmacy informaticist, a generalist at that one hospital or at the corporate level um, overseeing a number of hospitals. Or you can specialize instead of being a generalist in a particular technology, such as automated dispensing cabinets, barcode medication administration, evidence-based medicine, and data analytics. Now I've seen job postings in the past for specialist pharmacy informaticists who specialize in these particular areas for large institutions that are in the process of implementing barcode technology or have a great number of users and medications in a diverse setting. And so they need somebody to oversee that whole process. Evidence-based medicine really focuses in on kind of active and passive decision support, so clinical decision support. So you can be involved and work directly with the uh, medical team for building order sets within your systems and writing expert rules that can aid in prescribing. And then, of course, we've talked in the past about all the incredible data that we're collecting on electronic health records. And I know that there are positions out there. I know pharmacists who are in a pharmacy informaticist role, specifically uh, doing data analytics. And that is their uh, main job. In, on the, uh, and that's kind of on the client side. So I'm going to say on the clinician side, uh, these are the types of pharmacy informaticist jobs that you might have. On the IT side, the information technology department in your institution, you might be a pharmacy informaticist working as a analyst, a architect, or a chief information officer. I have seen pharmacists who have climbed the ladder within the IT department all the way to the top and are in charge of uh, information uh, systems for the entire organization. But you can also be the analyst that helps with the uh, build and programming of your EHR and um, installing or implementing improvements to the system. So um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of opportunity there, both on the clinical side and then on the technical or IT side. In the community pharmacy, um, obviously in, a, in, in one single store, it would be hard to justify a pharmacy informaticist but for a chain or a large group of uh, pharmacies um, that are associated or affiliated, then you might have a pharmacy informaticist generalist, again, at the corporate level. And also that person could specifically be focused on the uh, pharmacy information system. So uh, the system used to fill prescriptions basically, and the electronic medical record for that pharmacy, for the community pharmacy. Again, you can specialize in data analytics. And of course, uh, this is also needed in community practice. And then we do have a lot of automation in the, in the community setting also. We have counting machines. We have prescription filling robots. We have kiosks where our patients can uh, get their prescriptions from a machine after hours or even during hours. Uh, so there, it, there is an opportunity there to specialize in automation, um, especially at a, a large chain. So that would be the community pharmacy setting. And then we have uh, health information technology, the industry. So the people that write our electronic health records, the vendors, 
that um, we have, they need pharmacists. I know that there are pharmacists working at these uh, EHR uh, institutions or industries. Um, they're also knowledge base. We've talked about clinical decision support and have, how you have to have a knowledge base that goes along with that. And there are pharmacists involved with building those knowledge bases and keeping them up to date and supplying them to the electronic health record vendors uh, for use within their system for drug information, drug interaction checking, uh, um, allergy checking, all of those um, clinical decision support features that we have built into our system. Then we have companies that uh, obviously produce the smart pumps and the automated dispensing cabinets and other technologies and pharmacists are all also involved uh, in working in these industries um, on particular uh, vendors automation products. And then we're seeing, as we've talked about in the past, uh, a growing need for digital health. So these are uh, machines, automation applications that be can be used by the patient um, for personal health records, for tracking of uh, you know, blood glucose levels and, and other physical parameters and sharing that information with their uh, providers. So uh, these companies are, are there and they're growing. We've talked about that in the past about companies in the news. And so there's opportunity there for pharmacist involvement. And then also uh, making new products or managing products and client services. So you can be a internal consultant that goes out to your clients who are using your company's uh, automated dispensing cabinets and you can help them with all aspects of implementation, maintenance, uh, education, training, and uh, troubleshooting, updating, upgrading, all of those. And lastly, um, you can be an entrepreneur. You can be a pharmacy informaticist who has an idea of a new product, and you can go ahead and develop that product or that application, and that could be your um, career within pharmacy informatics. So just a quick overview of where the opportunities might be. We, uh, I broke it down by health system pharmacy, so more of the acute care setting, community pharmacy, and then the industry. But there are a lot of opportunities in all of these areas. If you found this video useful, then please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll thank you for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, look after the health of others. I'll continue to work on more episodes and hope to see you next time. Take care.